4.6 is giving us a new domain where we can acquire two new artifact sets, Fragment of Harmonic Whimsy, a Bond of Life set, and Unfinished Reverie, a Burning set. In this video, I will talk about how they actually work, which characters can use them, and what stats you should be on the lookout for. Let's start with the Fragment of Harmonic Whimsy. This set is obviously made for Arlecchino. The two-piece will grant attack bonus by 18% like other similar sets, and the very short and simple 4-piece set will grant 18% damage every time a bond of life increases or decreases, 6 second duration and 3 stacks, for a possible total of 54% damage increase. In case you didn't know, a bond of life is an effect that prevents healing and absorbs it until clear. For example, you have 10,000 max HP. Bond of life for 10% means that 1000 HP will be under the effect. To receive healing, you have to clear the bond of life first. So if you receive a heal of 3000, you will clear 1000 bond and heal for the remaining 2000. Arlecchino is THE character for this set. She is able to create a bond of life and continuously change its value, thus being able to full stack this new set very quickly without easily losing the bond. This set was made for her. A very similar option for Arlecchino is going to be the Gladiator set, which has the same 2-piece bonus attack stat, but gives you just 35% extra damage, and only on normal attacks. Whimsy instead is capping out at 54% damage, and also buffing her skill and burst. She will of course have other options, but we will talk about that at length in her own video. Now, is this set ever usable without Arlecchino? Well, technically MiHoYo could totally release more characters that work around BOL mechanics, but until they do, there is not much point talking about it. There are, however, a few weapons and enemies that can grant you a bond of life. Leaving the Fatui operatives aside, since they don't do enough to fully stack the set anyway, and the new weekly boss, let's look at weapons like the Two Fontaine Craftables, with the ability to grant a bond of life. Here's the deal. Activating the set with any of these weapons is possible, but once created a bond of life, you can only decrease it and not increase it, which means that if you heal it all, you're not able to stack the set until the next rotation. Healing by small amounts will keep the set active, but then the Fontaine Craftables will not get cleared fast and not actually give you their bonus. So yes, usable, but very, very poorly. In practice, as of 4.6, this set is just and only for Arlecchino. Let's talk about the counterpart of this new artifact domain, Unfinished Reverie. This is a set that works around burning, but doesn't actually buff the reaction itself. Let's see why. 2-piece bonus for 18% attack again. When leaving combat for 3 seconds, damage dealt is increased by 50%. When in combat, if there is no burning on opponents for more than 6 seconds, this damage buff goes down by 10% every second. If there is a burning opponent nearby instead, it goes back up by 10% every second, but always capped out at 50%. This set is fully functional and updated when off-field. Basically, you get the bonus, but you get to keep it only if burning enemies are nearby. As you can see, first of all, this set is very similar to the Bond of Life's one in terms of stats. Same 2-piece bonus and honestly, almost same 4-piece damage buff. Just the way you achieve them is different. This burning set is technically usable on many characters but the requirement of playing against enemies affected by burning is generally not achieved by many teams. The set will often be hard to use on Hydro units as they forward vape and consume lots of our possible burning aura, which means clearing it very fast and losing up time. The same can happen to many other elements if they manage to consume the enemy's burning. A rotation that has at least one instance of burning every 6 seconds can still keep this buff up, but of course we're looking into very, very niche scenarios here. The only real burning team right now is Burn Melt, which uses a burning aura for cryo units to melt on. Notable examples of these teams are Ganyu and Brightly teams, often using Bennett and Nahida. This set here is not enough of a contest for Brightly, since he can use Malachu C, but Ganyu's options here are either Shimenawa, the new burning set, Wanderer, Gilded, or a combination of sets. In theory, in such teams, the new set can be Ganyu's best in slot, providing the same stats as Shimenawa without the energy drawbacks. Other cryo units can technically do the same as long as they don't apply too much of their element, and this same concept can be applied to every other element. And of course, the Indian Pyro can more freely use the set without caring how much of their element is applied. 
The problem again is why would you play around team requirements, aura requirements and farm a completely new set? Remember that this set is not a reaction based set. You're not looking for triple elemental mastery and getting out. If you want this set on Ganyu, for example, and you're somewhat in the late game or been playing for a long time, you will take months and months of farming to get artifacts with similar quality to options you already have. I just want to reiterate one more time, this set buffs attack and damage percentage and those do not increase burning damage. The reaction is just there to activate the set. For both sets, you're looking at offensive stats, attack elemental mastery sands, elemental damage goblets and crit circlets. Of course, depending on the situation, more can be seeked, but generally it's just going to be the usual damage dealing stats for attack scalers. So to recap, Arlequinus exclusive set, attack and damage buffs. You're not doing anything else with this set right now if not using it on Arlequino. And another attack and damage percentage set, but enabled by having burning enemies nearby. And the most realistic use at the moment is Ganyu Burn Melt. This new domain, just like what happened in Inazuma and Sumeru last artifact releases, is something very, very niche. It's the usual pattern that Mihoyo is having in each region. First a domain with two sets widely used, then niche after niche. Just look at what happened with Volukasha and Nymph sets. My overall recommendation is to go in this domain only if you really want to give your Arlecchino all you can give her. Stay tuned for her videos which are going to include precise calcs on her builds and overall kit. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.